Hello YouTube. I made a video back in January talking about my plans for the year. They are forever changing, so I'm going to give you an update in this video, let you know what's going on. Starting with this very week, actually, in a few days' time, I'm going out to Snowdonia for five nights of getaway time. I'm staying in a hotel for two nights, then three nights in a bunkhouse. I'm going to do some great walking over four days. I'm looking at doing the Carnethai, I'm looking at doing Moil Shabod, I'm looking at going to the Aran Ridge, and hopefully I'll take off the Aranig Mountains as well. All of which is new to me. I've been to the Yogwin Valley before, but that was to do the, the Glitterai in Japan a few years ago. Really good time. This is on my own this time. Uh, yeah, like I was saying, four days in Snowdonia. Really looking forward to it and just getting away from work and life for a bit. I said before I might do the West Highland Way in May. The plan now is that I'm going to Scotland in June. But I'm not doing the West Highland Way. I'm going to Aviemore, staying in the youth hostel with, I think, 17 others from Bristol. In this walking group I know. I've been with for nearly 10 years now. And yeah, we're going to be staying there for, I think, five days again. And we'll be doing walks from, well, not from the hostel, but we're getting public transport from the hostel to get to the walks each time and back again. I'm not sure where we're going to be walking just yet, but it should be really good. I've not been to Scotland before, so again, it's a good adventure for me to go up there and do that. I thought I could do West Highland Way on my own, but then it's a group thing. They weren't allowed for the last two years. And um, yeah, so it should be a good thing to look forward to. I've made the controversial decision to fly up there, but my flight is to get from Bristol to Inverness. If I had more confidence and experience with things like um, public transport and trains, I might try a sleeper train, but that again means having like 12 or 14 hours twice over the course of five or six days, you know, to get up there and back again. It seems like a lot of hassle to me. And the idea of driving there right now is eight hours from where I am. No thanks, I just can't really do that. I struggled doing four hours between Yorkshire and uh, back in September. One thing I would like, if you've got any thoughts, is to get like a kind of rucksack. What are they called? I think they're called duffel bags. So to conceal the straps on your rucksack, basically on the conveyor belts in the airport. Either that or just buying a cheap duffel bag to chuck my gear in. It's going to be probably a 50 litre rucksack, 45 litre maybe, full of clothes mainly and toiletries. I'm not carrying a lot actually thinking about it. Uh, no food this time. So it'll be clothing, two walking poles and probably just one pair of walking boots and that's it. Uh, the rest of it will go in my hiking backpack which will probably go flat packed inside the rucksack pack. Um, yeah, have you got any thoughts or recommendations on some kind of bag or um, duffel, not gilet, a duffel type cover to enclose the straps and keep it all secure between the airports and please comment below. That's June covered. April, I might finally start doing my Cotswold Way walk. It still looks like it's going to be five single days walking a linear route. So the first one will be about 20 miles going from Chipping Camden down to Winchcombe and getting the bus back or getting the bus to Chipping Camden at the start and then walk into my car in Winchcombe. Hopefully I'll start that one in April, seeing how things go. Getting a bit more daylight, a bit more sunlight right now, which is really good. Um, so yeah, that'll be five walks down the way. I'll try and film those as well. I'm going to do some vlogging in Snowdonia as well very soon. Looking forward to that. I want to try and do some more wild camping as well. I was going to go out this weekend, but I'm pretty knackered right now, to be honest. I've only posted, I think, two videos on YouTube so far this year. That wasn't really my intention. I've got one more film that I need to edit and upload at some point. But yeah, like a lot of people, I'm pretty stressed out, to be honest. I had to step back on a few things in life. Still going to work, unfortunately. Got to pay the bills and all that stuff. So I'm somehow, somehow dodging COVID, although it is all around me. I work with five people who've been off recently. Another guy's off this week with COVID. And I should have caught it two weeks ago. Um, I'm not going to go into why or how, but yeah, I should have caught it and I haven't. I'm just mystified in the minute and very aware that it's still around and it may still ruin things in the future. But yeah, no, I'm surviving. I've been vaccinated three times. <sighs> it's 
kind of want the live back now, please. But anyway, uh, April, May, nothing really planned just yet. I'm hoping I might get to do a Taft trail on a bike with a friend. Maybe do some camping along the way as well, we'll see how that goes. Um, June, going to Scotland. July is normally a pretty hot month. Might do some local camping somewhere at a campsite, I don't know. I'm not too fussed on that. August tends to be a wet month. Anything can happen there. September. Now, if I do a national trail or long distance hike this year, it'll probably be in September. And thinking that I'm going to Scotland within three months time, it will probably be a trail closer to the home. So I'm thinking currently, it's just an idea, a thought, the two moors way uh, from Plymouth across Dartmoor, across Exmoor to Lynmouth or Linton, wherever it is again. That's one localised idea I might follow down with. The more likely idea, in my opinion, is that I'll drive north again to the Lake District for the first time and spend a few days up there, whether that's camping or staying in a bunkhouse, staying in a hotel. Yeah, that's my thinking. I've not been there at all. In 10 years of walking, I've not been to the Lake District. Can you believe it? But I might very well go there this year. Then we've got October, November, December. But we'll deal with that nearer the time. Um, I'm staying in, like I was saying, in a hotel for two nights, coming up very soon. That'll be fine. And I'm gonna spend three nights in the bunkhouse with my own room. I'll do some vlogging there as well. Uh, I'm not a big fan of hostels and bunkhouses where you've got to share your accommodation and space and noise and that sort of thing. I'm not a great sleeper. I'm a long-term insomniac, in case you don't know. Uh, then in June, I've got the hostel situation, which has always put me off before. I was in two minds about going this year, even though it is Scotland, and I know most of the people who are going with this trip. I'm sure it'll be good in the end, but... Sharing a room with at least three other people could be challenging for me, I'm sure. Others struggle with it as well. But it's a hostel. I don't know. Anyway, it's all stuff to look forward to in the most part. I hope your plans for the year are still looking good. Feel free to comment below with what you're up to in 2022. Thank you for watching. Take care, stay safe, and I'll speak to you again soon.